Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. Today on Tips and Reviews, we're going to take a look at how to perform an upgrade of a unified controller that's running on Amazon Web Services. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm at Unify's community blog page. And about two weeks ago, they released the controller software version 5.4.14. Now, you guys know if you've seen my videos before, every time I do an upgrade video, I always start on this page just to go over some of the new information. So remember, always do a backup, read through all the release notes. There's good information there. But I really like you guys to focus in on the new features and the fixes from the recent version. So under new features for version 5.4.14, it looks like they introduced wireless LAN broadcast and multicast blocking. I'm going to look into that a little bit further in the future and probably do a video on it soon. But from what I understand, it just pretty much allows you to tweak your wireless network and stop unnecessary broadcast traffic from happening on the wireless network. So that's a pretty cool feature. I'm looking forward to playing with that a little bit more. Um, here are the fixes from the last version, 5.4.11. I'm not going to read through them for you. You can read through these yourself. As always, it has the firmware changes. It gives you the bundled software packages and also the links for downloading the um, upgrades manually. So let's get to it and get the process underway. Okay, I'm at my controller's dashboard page. I'm already signed in, as you can see. My controller, guys, is running on Amazon Web Services, and I'm currently running version 5.4.11. So once we perform the upgrade, we'll be at 5.4.14, providing everything goes successfully. Before doing any upgrade, you know we have to create a backup, so let's do that now by going down to the lower left-hand corner of your Unify controller, clicking on the gear or settings icon, find the maintenance link and click on maintenance, locate the backup section of the page and click on the blue download backup button. Okay, I've confirmed in the lower left hand corner that version 5.4.11 has been backed up. So at this point, I'm going to log out of the controller and into SSH to continue the upgrade process. So I'm already signed into my controller via SSH. To start the upgrade process, I'm going to type sudo app get update. And I'll put this command in the comments down below. But this command basically goes out and checks for any updates that are available. The next command to actually install the Unify Controller upgrade is sudo app get install Unify. And again, I'll put this command in the comments below. And now it's downloading the update. It's asking us if we have a backup, and we have a backup, so I'm going to say yes. And now the um, upgrade is happening. It's starting to install. Okay, it looks like it completed successfully, so let me close the terminal app and do a refresh page here, and we should be at version 5.4.14. And there you go, version 5.4.14. So let's get signed in. Okay, so now we're signed in and just taking a look, a quick look to make sure everything looks okay. I have my one LAN device and my three uh, active wireless devices. Everything is green, it looks good. So there you go, guys. A quick and simple way to upgrade your Unify controller running on Amazon Web Services. If you liked the video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and let me know um, any comments that you have. Put them down below. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.